to you too much boy can say so and I'm back with fucking to it. If you like, I'm subscribing to you always. Watch the full video. Jessica shocked the incident after Re revealed that she got his name tatted recently. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. Some people in the comments weren't happy and other people were wondering if Re got her name tatted as well. Me personally, after everything they've been through, if I'm Jessica, the only way I'm getting your name tatted is if you got my face tatted. And I didn't oh, see no God. face tattoos on his body at all. I didn't even see a name. I could Oh God, ladies, pink, pink. No, forget forget that. People in general, when somebody do somebody do you dirty, right? When somebody do you grimy. And if, not mind, hey, we all took somebody back. I'm not gonna see it and say don't take them back. That would be dumb. That would be, that would be fake. Cause I, I didn't do it. I didn't mean, took back and I didn't took something back. So therefore, we all didn't been there. So in this moment, she's not. People can can judge her all all they want, but she still got got to remember. At the end of the day, you've been there. You've been there. Or if you haven't, I don't want to say that you probably have never really been in love, but you just ain't probably been in the love that other people have been in. Not saying that your love wasn't real. Not saying it wasn't deep, but. When you love somebody, sometimes you end up doing this. You end up taking somebody back. But when you do that, if, if they do you dirty and you're the they come to you and you're gonna take them back, make the, now mind you, mind you, <laughs> we are on the outside looking in. We don't know what he did, what he said, what he proved, whatever. But I'm just I'm just speaking in, in general terms. Make them prove that that they deserve you. Make them prove that they deserve another chance. Don't just I'm I'm lonely, I'm sad. These other people are are irritated and I don't want to talk to them, so therefore I'm I am i am much better off going or not much better off, but I must rather go deal with something which I know is not good for me, but I've already dealt with it than deal with something new that I that you know that I know is not good for me. But just make sure that they prove it. Make sure that they do something. That shows you that hopefully you you not gonna be put in the same position that you was put in before, or a worse one. Because sometimes people do that. We all the seen that people people will break up, get back together, and then when they get back together, instead of it just being calm and cool, the situation getting worse. So don't don't end up in that position too, for real be wrong but y'all leave your comments down below maybe now that everybody knows that she got his name maybe he'll show off her tattoo i don't know but y'all leave your comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that did he speak so on cj so cool being accused of touching jalea i've spoken to cj so cool on the phone like i wouldn't say recently but maybe like two months ago i was gonna do pull up on him and do like a little mukbang or something but cj so cool was a cool dude i don't think he would do nothing crazy like that i don't think he would like touch no little girl no crazy shit like that bro like seem like a genuine dude that i was about to say this bro like look besides all like you know the dumb stuff that we all seen that hey, i react to or, or you know the thing that y'all have seen before i even start doing this channel there's a lot of people there's a lot of people like i said it's a bad thing or saying it's a good thing i'm just i'm just speaking in general terms that there's a lot of people who, when it comes to this subject, they do not believe this. Nobody is going for this. I've seen a lot of people like, nah, not him. Rosie's lying. This is a plot. They plan this. This is like, nobody is going for it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, but it is crazy to see because most of the time you will see like somebody get hit this allegation. Everybody turn their back. Every single person. Whether they were they, they've been your friends for or their friends for X amount of years or not. They everybody's gone. But to see everybody like, nah, CJ so cool, like yeah, he might be he might be having his, his lame moments. I ain't gonna say lame, but you know, just lame moment in general. But this, nah. No, it's like nobody's going for it, bro. I don't know if that's a good thing or or for the bad thing. I don't know. It's just getting money, nigga. Just want to look fly, want to be fly, nigga. Just a regular nigga for real. So I don't think he would do nothing like that, bro, to be honest. Kai Sinet had John Cena on stream last night. Congratulations to Kai. But DDG was crashing out after he sent Kai Sinet 50 gifted, and this happened. Who can beat 100? Uh, this is nah, my I don't chance. know who can beat 100. It's my chance to get my John Cena shout out. Uh, how much am I supposed to do? Uh, 
just I can't get niggas. You better say something. Come on, come on, come on. I just get to this. Look at your fucking computer. Look at your fucking computer, Kai. Look at your fucking computer. Hello, how are you? Did he do What the fuck? I know you're lying. I know you're lying. He did not just do that. He did not just do that. That did not just do that, bro. He didn't just do that, bro. Tell me that nigga ain't do that, bro. Tell me that nigga ain't do that just now, bro. I just gifted this, bro, and this nigga said, thank you for the gift. I just sent this nigga $200 so John C can say my name, and this nigga didn't say anything. But he said ATL Damn. Jacob. Damn. Well, you know, we, we, we Oh, don't, my God. ATL Jacob with the 100 gifted. Appreciate you. ATL Jacob. Jacob. ATL Jacob with the 100 gifted. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 100? Why are we not going crazier for this? This gotta be a joke. It ha it's no way this dancing, bro. It has to be a joke. It has to be a joke. A big congratulations to Ty Taylor. She gave birth to her beautiful baby girl September 25th. Labor was short. Labor was nice. Labor was, didn't feel anything. Labor was, she didn't rip. Labor was everything I wanted labor to be. I was in labor for 30 minutes. Ladies, let me know. Does that mean? What does it mean? I, I don't know. I can't even can't even put it in, into context. Does that mean? <laughs> it was simply just an easy pregnancy, or they had her doped up. Let me know because, like, how was it that easy? I've never heard no female say it, it was it was that it was that easy. Nobody, ever. It was hell. I was in it for nine months. I mean, not nine months, but. Nine hours, ten hours, six hours, four hours. She's about thirty minutes. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> thirty minutes, bro. Beat my right. I mean, you know, it was he was never a secret, but I mean, you know, I don't know. Holidays. Um, when I get ready to, baby, I don't give a fuck what. Them people got to say about my baby name. At the end of the day, I push this baby out. I get, I get to choose her name. I get what it, I don't give a damn. She's speaking facts though. Like, hey, even me, I, it was just like it, it's like y'all already know when it kind of when it kind of us black people like they people already judge our our kids' name or our names in general. Like it could be a, a some that you know that sounds beautiful to you, but somebody like what that sounds ghetto as hell. But it's like, bro, it's just favor. It's like all the all the um other influencers and rappers. Win winter, I mean winter. Winter is not that bad. Winter is not that bad. But wave, cloud, like what? Favor. It, it's spelled different, so that you know when you when you uh see the spelling, it's like okay, okay, that's that's different. But when you hear it, it sounds like favor. Like, can you do a favor for me? And like, it's like, come on, you could have came up with something a little bit better. It's a little bit better, but that's her princess. It's your baby. Do your thing. Have fun. With my like Sharkisha, Shanisha, like Sh 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 uh, Chantel, my got to say about me, man, and my mother child favor because baby their name you see what i'm saying there's some ghetto names right there now mind you there are some other cultures who have some names where it's like what what's your name again i swear why work at, right here why work right here bro i gotta check people in i gotta check people in so i gotta i gotta ask people that name so when they tell me their name and i go look at it, it's like your name is what and y'all have the audacity to say anything about somebody named Starkeisha when your name is I don't want to say nobody's name, but it's like what? I, I'm like, matter of fact, I'm gonna say, let me see, let me find one that's just like off, like right. I, I'm looking in the computer right here, like it's like what? Your name is what? Are you serious? Okay, look, look. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like this thing right here. His name says Joe Young Pong. 
Now, mind you, it might that the the name in English or the or you know definitely it might mean something, but your name is Joe Young Pong. Come on, man, stop playing. Is Jabarkis, motherfucking Javante, motherfucking Lil Durag, motherfucking what? Trim, bitch. I named her something that has a meaning and it wasn't something that was just cute for instagram so i didn't pick her middle name her dad did but her uh middle name is aya yes let's that's give it cute. up for daisha but you carry this can with that that's cute i like that i don't hear i've only heard aya aya where the hell what that one the ai movie but it was spelled different it was pronounced a little bit different but it was something like Aya though. But yeah, that's the only time I've ever heard that name was on the uh it's the it's the AI movie uh Afraid with the AI in the middle. If y'all y'all seen the movie. I think that's the name of the AI thing. I think it's called Aya or Isla, something something like that. But it was something like that. But that's that's something I haven't heard a, a thousand times or a million times. And it's simple but cute. Cause when I tell you, baby, I ain't have no slip ups. I ain't get caught. Nobody ain't post nothing. Nobody ain't say the wrong thing. This is how it was supposed to be when I found out I was pregnant. It was supposed to be this exact energy. So I'm I'm very well. Uh, I'm not well, but I'm very um, pleased and um, happy on how my um, delivery announcement went. Y'all know I'm very private. I'm still not comfortable with y'all know who my baby father is. Only because I just don't want that to be a topic. Like, I don't want it to be a conversation. I don't like the chatter. Um, in the beginning, we both were like, you know, we're not going to, uh, you know, do the internet and that shit. We're not going to let nobody know. It's just going to be, you know, we're going to raise our daughter and that's just what it's going to be. Towards the end, we both kind of was like a little bit more comfortable and didn't really care like about people knowing. He did the first announcement on my birthday and told everybody. So I was just like, oh my gosh, I was fucking shitting bricks when he did that. But um, yeah, cause I wasn't gonna do it. I was, if y'all would've, fa would've found out, y'all would've just found out. I wasn't finna, t I wasn't doing no baby daddy reveal. But, um, you know what I'm saying? He did that. I did. I did. I said what I said, and that's just what it was. Um, I feel like now it's just you know. I just don't like what comes with people knowing, like you know, the opinions, the the conversation. But I mean, I'm at peace and I'm confident. And myself and my situation to especially that like it's like it's one thing to 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 think somebody can do better, but then even that it's like who the for you to say that? <laughs> even, even me when I be feeling this, sometimes I would think to myself like, but like who are you? And to say that she deserves somebody else. Like she now if you actually see them getting dogged out and you feel that way, that's different. But saying that about somebody's looks are crazy, for real, for because you might because you think somebody is a four or five or whatever, she might look at this person like this is a ten in my eyes. Not, you know, let what people say get to me or you know alter or change how I feel. So let me tell you guys. So you spell her name like favor. Um, how you pronounce it in English, because it's Hebrew, is Favor. Her nickname is Fave. Now, I chose this name because when I was a little girl, I was always told, oh, you have Favor over your life. You're the chosen one. It's, it's just something about you. Like, I've been told that my whole life growing up. God has never let me struggle. Like, anything that I've ever wanted to do or that I put my mind to it always works out for me I have it easy like and I'm not even trying to brag but it's really like that like I'm really God's favorite like anything I ever do it all it's always successful like I've never been one of those people where like you know how you say some people are oh they got a, a dark cloud over them like I'm not that like 
I don't have to beg people to fuck with me. People genuinely love me. Um, I have great energy. I get what she's saying, but she probably could have left that to favor means, you know, this in Hebrew. Like, I would have left that at that. Uh, the, the Hebrew part, that got me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, once she said that, I was like, oh, okay. That's okay. I, I get where you was going with that. That's like, you no, know, like I said, you no, know, the other name. <laughs> it might mean something tight or, you no, know, cool or whatever. That's like, I think everybody names mean something if you, if you can find it. But what she going on on this part, like, this is all the things about, in my opinion, why she should have been named Favor, not your daughter, because God favored you and ha gave you all these moments. That everything that she's naming is about her. That has nothing to do with the baby. But I get what she's going with. I get what, where she's going with. I get where she's going. Don't get on my head, y'all. Please don't get on my head. Um, I'm not a uh, uh like. It, it it's it's basically like God's favor. That's that's basically what it is. It's hard to explain it, but the people who get it get it. If you feel like your life has always went as planned, I knew what I knew my life. I seen my life. I was told my life at sixteen um, years old. I was told where I would be, how much money I would have, what I would be doing. I. I was told my life before I got to the age that I am. So that's uncommon. It's unheard of. It's it's not. And everything that, you know, was prophesied over me has came to pass. So that name always. I get what you're going on, though. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video.